Hey guys, Eric Sargent, General Manager at Ed Martin Toyota in Noblesville, Indiana. And today we're going to do a side-by-side -side comparison of a uh, Prinsu uh, roof rack as well as a front runner Sunline 2 roof rack. And then at the end of the video, we're going to do a little bit of a drone shot that's going to cover um, the Gamma Vidi custom roof rack um, as well as just the normal roof rails and crossbars that are on a 200 series Land Cruiser, the front runner of the Prinsu, and then also the Yakima Warrior basket that uh, that comes out of Heritage Land Cruiser attached to the factory roof rails and crossbars. So come on with me. We'll start by looking at the front runner Slim Line 2. <clears throat> this roof rack um, comes with uh, uh, comes in two sizes. Um, there's a, a half basket um, and then there's a full basket or full rack that you're looking at here. Um, this particular roof rack has 11 cross members, uh, two of them. Um, the front and the rear are permanently attached to the frame of the of the roof rack. Um, there's nine cross members that are in the middle um, that are removable. Um, as you can see inside the uh, the cross member itself, there's a slot um, for like an MA bolt or anything that you want to slide in here. Adjust it accordingly. Uh, front runner makes a ton of different accessories. There's a bottle holder that you can open your bottles and. Um, you know, there's of course spikes, kayaks, canoes, boxes, um, jerry cans, anything that you can that you can think of. Front Runner already has that accessory that you can order from them. Um, so this is the uh, again 11 cross members, nine in the middle. Um, one really kind of cool thing about this particular rip rack too is there's also inside the side uh, the frame there's another um, channel that you can put like additional accessories in, like maybe another bolt um, right here on the on any of the four sides. Uh, you can remove the corner piece with an Allen wrench, um, pop this little piece off and stick more uh, bolts inside here and then put that little corner piece back on. Overall, this is a very nice roof rack. I think it's probably one of the best options, especially if you're going to use an awning because it is so rigid around the sides. Um, and uh, another nice thing about the front runner too is it's always available. Um, I've never, I've, I've probably ordered, you know, 50 of these things and every time that I get one, it's here in a week. Um, they keep them in stock in California. I think they're made in South Africa, but don't quote me on that. But overall, um, it's an A-plus unit. I like it a lot. Um, there's, uh, we're going to compare it side by side against the Prinsu. Um, uh, most important uh, um, thing that I would like to mention about this particular roof rack is um, two things. Uh, it's about thirteen, it's about fourteen hundred dollars for the full rack and about a thousand for the um, for the half rack. Um, this does sit up quite a bit higher than the Prinsu. This is about six inches from the top of the roof line to the top of the rack is about six inches. So if you have garage clearance questions. This would be, and if your garage, if your Land Cruiser fits in your garage right now, you'd want to just make sure that um, that you can have an, an additional six inches um, to make that fit inside. Also, um, despite being four hundred dollars more, it also doesn't come with a wind fairing, um, which is another couple hundred dollars. So the front runner is more expensive. Is it better? Is the question? Um, I think I, I wouldn't. I would say not necessarily. I think uh, each use application. Would be uh, would be permitting of different answers. So let's take a look at the Prinsu and let you make your own decision. Um, so the Prinsu is about four, uh, about let's call it four and a half inches higher than the roof line. So um, if you had a again, if you're trying to make it fit in your garage, that's what your reference point is going to need to be. Um, let's step up here. Um, so this one comes with a wind fairing, so that saves you a little bit of money. This uh, this uh, roof rack uh, retails for about a thousand bucks. Um, you can get it with the regular wind fairing or one with a 40 inch cutout. Um, and then if you wanted to order one, say we're going to add a light bar in the future and you wanted to um, order both, I think that you can buy the second alternate wind fairing for under $100. So if you want to order this one and then add a light bar in the future, you can add a 40 inch cutout bar for like 80 bucks. Um, there is a cross member right here um, in the front, um, which is kind of nice because it, again, it is channeled. So you can add additional accessories there if you wanted to for custom fabricating a light bar. Another cool thing about this roof rack is that the light bar, unlike the, the front runner where you can, it's underneath, it's mounted underneath of the roof rack, unless you wanted to specifically put it on top, is that when you have the 40 inch cutout, um, the, the light bar, um, at least with the Rigid Industries 40 inch single row, um, it will uh, mount uh, completely flush with the roof with, with this. So if you were going to run it through a car wash or anything like that, it would not be an issue at all. You'll notice that the cross members on here, um, these are just your kind of your stock 80-20 cross members. Um, one nice thing about this versus the um, versus the front runner is that the channels, um, there's two channels instead of one channel for one, um, which is kind of nice if you're going to try to have something that's a little bit extra secure. Um, but also, um, these these are a one by two inch size. That's what Prinsu uh, gives you. 
Um, but if you go to 80, 8020's website and you can order like a two by two. So if you wanted this to, if you to kind of custom fabricate something that's a little bit taller, maybe for a roof top tent or whatever, um, you could buy those as an accessory and they're very uh, industry standard. Another cool thing too about the Prince Roof Rack is on the sides, it does have these slotted channels so that if you wanted to install like scene lights or any kind of a additional accessory, maybe some eye bolt, um, anchor points, whatever, um, you could do that without having to drill into the rack itself. If you look over here on the front runner, we installed a couple scene lights, but we drilled it directly into the, the into the um, into the frame itself. Um, both systems are aluminum, um, so and they're both modular. Um, another cool thing about Prince just like front runner, is that they're pretty much always available. Um, every time that we order, um, we usually have them in about a week. Same as the front runner. Um, they're I think they're made in the USA. Um, I believe it's a Utah company. It's CBI Off Road and Prince Design Studios. Um, I really like this roof rack. I think it probably, in just personal preference, I think it looks the best um, from the front on, just because it's a little bit slimmer and lower profile. Um, it's very, uh, you can do pretty much anything that you want to do in terms of uh, just configuring it to however your liking is. And then uh, one additional accessory on the Prince suit that I did not mention was it does have a noise reduction trim piece right here uh, that Prince suit sells for about 15 or $20. It's just a kind of a, a little strip of plastic that, that, that catches the wind a little bit differently. If you guys have any questions, uh, thanks for watching. This is Eric Sargent and Mark Toyota in Noblesville, Indiana. These are our, our top two uh, roof rack options. Um, that was the point of this video. And, and uh, from this point on, I'm just going to have some B-roll footage of the Gamma Vidi, as well as a, 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 a Land Cruiser base, and then a Heritage uh, Warrior basket. Thanks for watching.